What's up guys, I'm Michael with this off and Audio Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 crashing to the desktop of giving you a fatal error where it pops up over here on your screen and how to fix it. Now ladies and gentlemen, I know a lot of people are playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 either through Battle.net or they are playing it through Steam. Unfortunately, I do not own this game through Steam, but I can still show you how to fix it if you're getting the same problems where it's fatal errors, you crash into the desktop, and stuff like that. Now there's a few ways of doing this and I'm hoping one of these ways are going to fix your game for you. If it does, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new year and leave a comment down below which one actually worked for you. Please, so I can get some feedback so I know what actually helped you and what helped you. Maybe it will help for the next person that watches this video. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. All right, so the first one is going to be, you go to options over here. If you're using Battle.net, obviously, you're going to go over here where it says scan and repair. Now you can go and scan and repair your game files. Your, your files can get corrupted while, you know, maybe you switched your PC off and you restarted your machine or whatever the case might be. Sometimes there's small little updates that come through Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 with it's small little updates and stuff like that. Now, one of the files can get corrupted. Now, it does take a little bit of time by scanning and repairing this thing, but please go ahead and try it out. If that doesn't work, there is another way of trying to fix this, which is just going to show an explorer, and it will take you to your Call of Duty where it is installed. I'm just going to move mine from my other screen. So this is where your Call of Duty is installed. So if you go one back, as you see, it says Call of Duty, Call of Duty, right? So this is my Call of Duty folder right here. And if I go one back again, I have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 over here. Then I have Modern Warfare and Warzone in this folder right over here. Now, I don't want to make this very complicated. So you guys are going to ask me questions. So let me just show you what you're going to do to fix this error problem that people are having right now. So this is the common one that I know that actually fixes your machine. And I know that it actually does. And I'm pretty sure that it will work for you, right? So if, like I said before, if you are a Battle.net user like me, all you're going to need to do is find where your game is installed by just clicking here, go to show in Explorer, and it's going to take you straight into your game. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go one back and then one back to the drive where your game is on. All right. Now that is where my Call of Duty is installed. That's the folder. Okay. So now I'm going to make a new folder here. That's all you're going to need to do is make a new folder and you're going to rename this folder to, let's say, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to copy the game and put it inside this folder now, which is Modern Warfare 2, not just Call of Duty, right? So I'm going to go inside here. Now, what you're going to do is you're actually going to cut this out of here, the whole folder. Don't go inside of it. Cut the whole folder out of here and then go to this one over here that you just created and paste it inside here. Now, once you're done with that, you're going to obviously delete the other folder that is empty now. Just Press delete on your keyboard and there you go. Now what you're going to do is this. Battle.net is still open. If yours is still open like this, you're going to have to close it because it still says play, but it won't work because the game doesn't know that you moved it and it's going to look for it and it won't find it. So all you need to do is just close out of Battle.net completely, exit out of it, and then relaunch your Battle.net. So I'm just going to just relaunch my Battle.net. Sorry, if it asks you for to, you know, say yes, say yes. Obviously, if you want to run it as administrator, I run my game as administrator. That's why it does that. Right, then you're going to go to locate the game like this, and you're going to go where your game is installed. Now, obviously, mine's still installed over here. Double click on this folder. Then just this folder over here. Don't double click on this. Please, for the love of God, don't double click on this. Just click once on it, and then say select folder. It's going to say waiting, initializing, updating, and then it will tell you to play the game. Now, this is one of the methods that I know that actually work, ladies and gentlemen. I know that this actually does work. I've done a video on this before for Warzone, and it actually fixed it for a lot of people. Now, I had, like, I don't know. Go watch that video for Warzone that I made. It's almost on like 200,000 views. And I had that 200 or basically like 180,000 views in the span of a week because people needed a fix. And it worked for them. Go and check that video out if you would like. It's very similar to this one. But there was a lot of people that said that this didn't work for them. And majority of the people it did work for. 95% of the people that watched that video, it worked for them. Now, I want to kind of help the rest of the community as well. If this doesn't work for you, I want to try and help you as best I can. Now, what you can do is go over here, go to options, and then go to show in Explorer, right? What you can do is go one back, go one back. And then as you can see, here, it says now Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Now, what you can also do is you can click on rename the folder. Just say space. I'm just going to say Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 
new game. I'm just going to call it whatever, right? Okay, cool. So that's what I renamed it right now. And then I need to close out of this. It still says play. The game won't know where it is. So you go over here, exit out of it, and then open up Battle.net once more. Now, obviously, just say yes. If it prompts you with yes, you go open up it your battle net and then this is what you're going to need to do all right so obviously you're going to do the exact same thing over here locate the game go to where your game is installed so i'm just going to say this one over here which is the folder i just created or renamed click on the folder over here say select folder it will say waiting initializing updating and then play now like i said before that is another method those are three methods that I know that do work to fix this game. Now, for a lot of people out there that's playing this on Steam, I know a lot of people are playing this on Steam, not just on Battle.net. But that, that I just showed you now, I'm 100% sure that that will work for you if you're playing this on Battle.net, because it worked for me. If it worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to me to channel for your new year. And if this actually fucking worked for you, smash that motherfucking like button. I would appreciate it. All right, for people out there that's playing this game on Steam, it's very simple to do this. All you need to do, I'm just going to close out of this. All right, all you need to do is open up your Steam like this. So let's just, I don't have Call of Duty installed over here. So let's just go with, I don't know, something that's installed. All right, here we go. We go, we go with Among Us. Among Us. All right, we go here. We go to, right click on it, and you go to Properties. And you're going to go to Local files right then what you're going to do is verify integrity of game files this is the other way of doing this if you're playing this on steam this is steam's way of verifying the game files all right okay so scan repair is battle.net and then verify integrity of game files is for steam right that's the exact same option just different platforms all right so you're going to click on this and then let it verify if it tells you that one file is missing or corrupted redo the scan until it says all files are successfully validated right pretty much that's how you'll fix it on steam okay so if that doesn't work what you're going to do is you're going to go to browse over here and it will tell you where your game is installed obviously right so i'm just going to open this again all right there we go so obviously where your steam is installed so steam install you're obviously going to go to Steam Apps, go to Common, and then go to your Call of Duty. Unfortunately, I'm using Among Us as a, as a, you know, like a, as a reference for Call of Duty, since I don't have the fucking game on Steam. But let's just go with Among Us, right? So what I'm going to do is, over here, I'm going to make a new folder here. I'm just going to make a new folder. And then also type in Among Us, like this, all right? So Among Us, uh, Among Us. But let's say among ghosts, uh, among ghosts, 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 like that, right? So that's that's what I'm going to name it, right? That is what I'm naming it. Then what you're going to do is this. You're going to go into the folder, into your Call of Duty folder, take all of these things inside of Call of Duty, cut it, move it into this new folder you just created, and paste it, right? Once you're done with that, you're going to delete the Among Us folder. Now your Call of Duty folder, let's, let me just stick to Call of Duty. I don't want to confuse you guys. I really do not want to do that, right? You're going to delete that folder. Then you're going to close out of this. Now you're going to right click on your Call of Duty and you're going to go over here and say uninstall and say uninstall like this. Now don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> you're not going to reinstall the whole game. Don't stress about that. Now you're going to say install. You're going to obviously use that same drive where your Call of Duty is installed, it will automatically pick it up. If not, and you need to select a certain drive, go ahead and select that specific drive where your game is on. Mine's my E drive, right? You're going to click Next. It's going to say Creating Local Game Files, and then you say Pause. Then what you're going to do is this. Let me just show you something quickly. Right-click, Properties. You're going to go to Local Files, Browse. You're going to, as you can see, there's a folder just made among us. You're going to go common, Steam apps, Steam install, right? So Steam apps, common, and there's the new among us folder. Now what you can do is you do this. You take all of these things, right? And just make sure that you have them highlighted so you can copy them. Now all you're going to do is this. You right click here, uninstall, yes. Now it created a new folder for your Call of Duty. So all you're going to need to do is do this. Cut this out of that new folder, which is mine called Among Us, 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 Us. Now yours will be Call of Duty. Take that, all of these things inside you, cut it, and then put it inside the folder it just created for you, right? So Steam knows exactly where that is. Now this Among Us, 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 I'm just going to delete, and then this is what you're going to do. Install, next, 
and it's going to do this with your Call of Duty, discovering existing files for Call of Duty. And there you go. You do not need to uninstall the game and reinstall the game. Uh, please don't go ahead and do that. I know a lot of people have slow internet, like really slow ass internet, and it's going to take you quite some time to download the fucking game from Obis. And it's not going to help you at all. You'll just run into the crash again. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, be on New Year, and as always, fucking Among Us.